Good afternoon. Welcome to another dog walk. <laughs> Well, it's lovely out here today, a bit cloudy, but we've got some sunshine. It's lovely and warm. And there's Harris. We're off for another walk. Oh, is it, am I keeping you up? Lots of bees around today, which is quite nice to see. Mostly bumblebees, but a few honeybees. Uh, lots of little hoverflies. Oh, look at this little chap. I love watching them. They just hang in the air like hummingbirds, don't they? They just hover. Oh, hello. Just been pushed off by a big red arsed bumblebee. Oh, but he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming. Oh, no, he's gone. No, he's gone again. Gone again. He's thinking about trying to land, but uh, the big lad is still there. Oh, Christ. Nearly hit me. Oh, look at that. I found some wild raspberries. Oh, and some of them are ripe. That one certainly is. And that one down there certainly is. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Lovely wild raspberries. Yum. Actually, now I look, there's actually quite a lot in there. If I could get in amongst those brambles. Look at all those raspberries back there. Mmm. I feel a picker's day coming on. With some nice thick trousers to get through the brambles. A lot of white butterflies around at the moment, although I have started to see some red admirals now. They're a bit late, but uh, as you walk along these farm margins, there's an awful lot of blackberry along here and uh, occasional wild raspberry. And the butterflies do seem to like that. Looks like we're in for a good hazelnut crop though this year. Lots and lots of hazelnuts this year, but as usual, I won't get any of them. The squirrels will get them all long before they turn brown and they're edible. Oh look, there's a little beauty. Not very old. We'll see how he opens up over the next couple of days. Well, that was a scary moment. I just nearly stepped on a fledgling blackbird. Um, I was just walking along merrily, and then suddenly, just down by my foot, there's this massive commotion, and this little bird goes skidding away over into the bushes, and then there's a sound of alarm and distress from the bushes, uh, which I do recognise as a blackbird. That's the only reason I know it was a fledgling blackbird. But, blimey heck, I really don't know how I didn't step on it. My, my foot was hovering about an inch above it when it bolted. But uh, so I should probably look at my feet when I'm walking, but then I miss so much. Quite a lot of this around at the moment, this yellow flower. I think it's hawk's beard. I may be wrong. And if I am wrong, I will put a correction up on this video. But yeah, a lot of it at the moment. Any nice little pop of yellow color now that the buttercups are just about gone. Now parts of hawk's beard are edible, but it's one of those classic plants where unless you're 100% sure, um, just don't go near it because you've got a similar-ish yellow flower called ragwort and ragwort is poisonous. Um, the big difference I always find is that ragwort, the, the central button on the flower is much bigger and darker in colour, more like an orange than a yellow, but you can't always rely on that. There's lots of different species of ragwort. So, you know, get to know your plants. Look at the stems, look at the leaves, look at the textures of the leaves, look at the um, texture and structure of the stems. That will soon tell you the difference. Uh, with experience. In the meantime, just don't eat anything unless you're sure. It's a simple enough rule, but you know, hundreds of people get poisoned a year because they think they know it. And um, you know, I've been foraging since I was a kid and I'm 62 next month. And there's still a lot of things I won't touch because I can't be 100% sure. But um, yeah. Lots of pineapple weed around this year, which is nice to see. And with the sun shining on it, it's releasing its scent. So as you're walking along, you've got that delicious smell of pineapple. I was thinking to myself, you know, when I was in Scotland recently, there were so areas covered in beautiful gorse flowers and they smell really strongly of coconut. Put these two together and you've got a kind of nasal pina colada, haven't you? Just need the alcohol now. <laughs> With this sense of smell and being so close to the ground, it must smell fantastic. Are you loving all the pineapple? Now, this is a kind of allium, a uh, member of the garlic and onion family. I think it's called a drumstick garlic. And those little purple heads on there um, each one of those is a tiny little onion. If you wait till they dry out a little bit longer and then harvest them, you can use them in things like omelettes. Just noticed this yew tree and uh, 
here, oh, if I can reach them, are the arils, these curious little fruits that you get on yew trees. They're the only part of the yew tree that isn't deadly poisonous, although I wouldn't recommend eating it because if you get any part of that little seed that's in the middle of the cup there, in your tummy, you're going to be quite poorly. I did actually try an arrow years ago, uh, under supervision from an experienced forager, and uh, do you know what? It wasn't worth the risk. It tasted like a really bad quality grape. Sort of sweetish, but not terribly sweet. Similar sort of texture to a grape though. So um, yeah, leave the yew trees alone, let them get on with it. In fact, if you refer back to one of my older videos from uh, a few weeks ago when I was in Scotland, you can see the Fortingall yew, which is a 5,000 year old yew tree. That was the tree that was growing before Stonehenge was built. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Go back and find the video, it's amazing. That's a pretty little chap. Well done, Pug. That's probably it for today. Um, do join me for another dog walk. I'm out here every day, rain or shine, snow, hail, blowy winds, whatever. Me and Harris are out here braving the elements and seeing what we can see. So do subscribe, uh, do follow the account, uh, and do occasionally visit my blog. There's always a lot more uh, information on there that I can possibly put in a little three or four minute video. Uh, that's uh, The link is on the YouTube page. So until next time, toodle pep.